Today on Amateur Kitchen, we are making meatball sliders for our Super Bowl Sunday. Hard to believe Super Bowl is already here. Is your team in it? I don't know, but good luck to them both. In the meantime, though, Maria and I are getting ready to make this meatball slider. It's a great appetizer that your friends can just kind of pick up and head back to the couch and watch the game or the commercials. And I really hope I like these meatball sliders because I do not like meatballs at all. Which is really weird because you love hamburger. Mm. But I do have a special treat for you for these meatballs. So let's see if we can get her to like these ones. Ready? Ready. All right, let's go ahead and get started on making these. Meatball sliders. Here we go. We're actually using pork. <gasps> I love pork! I knew I would get her on that. Rather, and you could actually use, if you make traditional meatballs, you could use pork and the beef and whatever else you want, veal. Um, but I actually just chose the pork and I actually had it seasoned with Italian seasoning. So you can kind of find something like that or you could even do turkey sausage or like turkey um, uh, sausage links, you know, like the spicy kind. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. This is just what we're doing today. So, all right, that's the meat, Maria. Now what? To this meat, I am going to add some garlic. Mm-hmm. Some Parmesan cheese. Yum. For some nuttiness. Some pink, panko breadcrumbs. Yes, panko breadcrumbs. <laughs> I kept on saying panko de gallo. You were thinking like pico de gallo. The the um, uh, tomato mixture for dipping, <laughs> right? And last, I'm going to add two eggs. And I figure that it's better for me to crack the eggs in a separate bowl so I make sure I don't have any shells. And if I do, it's easy to pull out than just looking through this big, ginormous bowl. Very good idea. So Maria's gonna do that, she's a great shell cracker now. And I just went ahead and chopped up a couple of tablespoons of fresh parsley. I like just using the fresh parsley because it just kind of helps brighten up that meat just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some salt. And some black pepper. Yes. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> We're never gonna get anything done here. We just dilly around all the time, don't we? Yep. That's all right. Now, for one of your favorite parts, I'm pretty sure. What do you think we're gonna do next? Ketchup. No, not ketchup. Syrup. No, not syrup. Put this down. Oh Every my goodness, she must be sick. <laughs> you're gonna get in here with your hands. Yay! And you're gonna kinda mash it all up. So roll up those sleeves and get in. <laughs> you like that? Yeah? Okay, and now the idea with your meat is you just kind of want to get everything combined. Don't handle it too much, otherwise your meat gets really tough. We don't want tough meatballs, right? Okay. Okay. Do you have to grind it with your hands? No, but... I suggest that you do. Is it making more fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, nice job, Maria. Did you have fun doing that? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some meat mixture and go ahead and just kind of form it into a ball. Go ahead and get right in there. Now, depending on how big your sliders are, the buns, will kind of depend on how big your meatball is. Obviously, you don't want it too big because it's supposed to be sliders. I mean, really, they're like two bite things. Yes, that's perfect. We're just gonna set it down on a tray 
finish rocking out the rest of these, and then we'll let you know what we do next. I'm not a huge fan of football, but this is one of my favorite games, the Super Bowl. I love the Super Bowl so much, so, 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 so much, because it's the end of football. Yes! I have a large skillet over high heat and I'm just going to add in some olive oil to coat the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in our meatballs one at a time. Once the meatballs have been able to brown for a couple minutes on one side, go ahead and flip them over so they can brown on the other side. And we're just going to kind of keep doing this until they get nice and brown all over. Now we are going to make the sauce that the meatballs are going to continue on cooking in. First, I have a pan over medium-high heat, and first I am going to add in some olive oil. And then I'm going to add in some onion. And keep on cooking them until you can kind of see through them. Now that the onions are translucent, I am going to add in some garlic and cook for about one more minute. Now I am going to add in some tomato paste. The tomato paste adds an extra level of flavor. Now I am going to add in some peeled tomatoes, a can of peeled tomatoes, but you can also buy crushed tomatoes. And if you buy peeled tomatoes, you can just crush them with your spoon. To this sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and some pepper just to add another extra level of flavor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my meatballs back into the sauce to finish cooking. Once the meatballs are in the pan, go ahead and cover it with a lid and cook it for about 45, 60 minutes just to allow for all those flavors to get together and finish cooking that pork, of course. I cannot stress how important it is to prep for your party when you have tons of guests over. Not only does it make it easier for you, but it also allows you to enjoy your own party that you're throwing, right? This is a perfect recipe for that. You can prep the meatballs the night before and even go as far as prepping the sauce as well. This, I hope, will make your Super Bowl Sunday party a little bit easier. Our meatballs are done cooking, but a few little things we need to let you know first. We went ahead and grabbed our slider buns and put them under the broiler for just a minute or so just to kind of toast it. It adds an extra level of uh, texture, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we gotta top it with the meatball. Meatball, there's yours, and mine, yum. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna top mine with some of the sauce, just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to top mine with the very original ketchup. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me with her. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of ketchup. I love my ketchup. <laughs> I know you do. Now what are you going to add? Now we're just going to add on Parmesan cheese. Yes. Yours. And it's just going to kind of melt on top of that. And I just kind of sliced it, you know, shaved it with um, a peeler. That's kind of a nice little way. And then my mom, she wants some basil on her. Yes, because it kind of keeps with that Italian theme. we got the Italian seasoned... Um, uh, pork and the Parmesan cheese and all that. Are you going to have any? No, I tried one earlier and mm. you know it tastes good though with other things. Like on its own. I love it on its own but. Oh, that's probably why it tastes better with soup. Yeah. Some <laughs> of the soups that I make I have it in there. So, but you're going to pass for it today, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now all we have to do is try it. All right, here we go. I'm excited. These are cute. Very, very cute. I'm going to move this. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. It's juicy. First meatball I've ever liked, everybody. First meatball. <laughs> Score. Mmm. Touchdown! 
Yeah, I'm gonna be having more than one of those. The basil, I love it. But I love the Italian uh, pork, Italian seasoned pork. It just adds a whole nother flavor to it. And we didn't have to worry about seasoning it very much, did we? No. We just added in some Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and not a big deal. So, what do you think? You like? Two thumbs up. Oh, great. If she loves it, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it, too. First ma first meatball I've ever liked, everybody. First. Check, check it off the calendar, right? Yeah. <laughs> check that one off. All right, well, I know we're going to finish diving into this. I hope that your guests love these and you love them just as much as we do. But before we do, we need to let all of you guys, our friends, know to head to our website, amateurkitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, including this delicious one. And what else do we want them to do, Maria? We want them to click our like button and follow button on our Facebook page, Twitter page, Pinterest, YouTube, and all the other ones. That's right, because we're on there. And of course, that's pretty much it for now. We have more Super Bowl recipes on our website, so be sure to look under that for that. And that's kind of it. Do you have fun? Yes. I had a blast too. As always, we want to see you guys right back here again next time on Amateur Kitchen. See you later. Bye. So, so good. <laughs>